Hey everyone, it's Daphne from Scrap and Create, and we are working on, sorry, I keep forgetting to plug my camera in, working on uh, Voyage Beneath the Sea, and we're on page three. Yay! This could be fun. I've not done this before. I just have not done a lot of waterfall features, um, partly because it's just so common. It's just, um, everybody already knows how to do it, so I always try to think of something a little bit different, but today, we are gonna do a waterfall feature and it is gonna be a little different. So I'll go over that with you in just a minute. So I've made these extra large. They're going to be six by seven and you're gonna need four of them, six by seven, and then you're gonna score at the one inch line. So you're gonna wind up with a five by seven finished panel. And I decided to do five by seven because you can either do a five by seven photo here I'll move this so you can see what I'm or this is um this is a four by six card or you can put a four by six photo and still have a very nice mat around it so you've got a couple of options there so six by seven four of them and then you're going to score at the one inch mark and I did that because I wanted to use the one inch hinge as a spacer um, as I apply this now, what's gonna be different about it is we're gonna use this large belly band that's gonna be centered on the page, and then all the, the waterfall feature is gonna be on top of the belly band, and then we're gonna have an insert uh, that slides into and underneath the waterfall feature. Okay, so hopefully that all makes sense. So I'm going to apply my waterfall feature to the belly band, and then that gives me a chance outside of installing it on the pocket page to trim any edges that look like they're falling off um, and just clean up the edges before I install it. <clears throat> and then the belly band's gonna be centered on the pocket page. Okay. <clears throat> just gonna start at the edge. Okay, there's one. And then I'm going to use this hinge as the guide for the next one that I install. And if you're an album maker, you've certainly done a waterfall before. Normally, and when I've done it, I've always used a half inch hinge um, instead of a one inch hinge. Because the hinge is so large, I am going to cover it with decorative paper. Okay. And I'll go over that when we actually start decorating. And I'm just tapping down one corner and then um, coming across. <clears throat> That's actually a little bit high. So let me see if I can't straighten that up a little bit. Actually, it's okay. It's pretty good. Pretty good. <clears throat> it's a lot of tape and it really wants to grab. So if you just want to peel back side, make it straight and then pull tab, that's fine. Or you can add a bit, a bit of glue and it will um, give you some time to maneuver it into place. And this is our last one. Okay. And then we are going to, so that's all gonna close like so. And as you can see, it's all perfectly spaced. <clears throat> and so the last thing we're going to do is we're going to put one that's gonna go up to hold everything in place. And I thought I had that trimmed out, but I don't. <clears throat> so 
in the absence of that, I'm gonna go ahead and install this and then we're gonna add one to the belly band that goes up and then we'll place a magnet here to hold everything in place, okay? So the first thing I wanna do is find the center of my pocket page and then the center of the belly band and then we'll get that place. <clears throat> I drank a little too much coffee. I feel jittery this morning. Sorry, guys. If you see my hands shaking, that's what's going on. Okay, I'm going to turn it over and do the same thing. Okay, and then the belly band, I forgot to tell you, is seven by 10, seven by 10. You're gonna score a half inch and nine and a half inches, and then mount your uh, waterfall to it. So that means my center is going to be three and a half. And three and a half. Okay, there we go. Pretty easy. <clears throat> I think I'm going to just peel this back and do a little bit at a time. So make sure you're putting it in right side up. So that's a good thing I checked because I had this turned upside down. So that's page two, and this is page three. <clears throat> And I want my waterfall going in this direction. Is this page two? I'm so yes. It is, okay. Hold on a second, I, I'm kind of mixed up. Yeah, that's right, this is page three, okay. <laughs> so actually, this is page four. I was, um, that's why I, I got so con discombobulated. I'm like, wait a minute, something's not right. Okay, so now we need one that's going to get installed and go upward to hold everything in place. And, oh, so I, we can go ahead and put the bottom part of the belly band down. <clears throat> There we go. And then this is going to get installed like so. And I did a one inch, but you could do, um, so actually you need a total of five of these. I said four, but this one could have a half inch um, hinge on it if you wanted, because we're not trying to use it as a spacer. But I just to keep it simple, I just did five that are the same. Okay. Now that's gonna go like that and keep everything closed. I'm gonna draw a quick line so I know that the magnet has to be below that. Get my fat tape. <clears throat> so this is a pretty simple page. I think it's gonna be fun and I think it's gonna be very pretty. Um, because we have an insert, um, we get to put some decorative edges here. <clears throat> Actually, I want that to go a little bit lower. It's hard to see. Let me get my contrast. That's black on black, it's kind of hard to see. So I'm just, I, there's my mark on where the flap is coming and I'm just centering the, the magnet um, 
and try actually pushing it a little closer to this edge. <clears throat> okay, here we go. Okay, so that is done. And that's going to hold everything in place. And this is up, down, this goes down. Then we've got two, three, four waterfall features. And then um, I'm just going to cut real quick. Um, I'm going to do eight and a quarter by ten and a quarter. As the, as the insert. And this is just a placeholder. I actually might make this um, a little bit smaller. So it's hard to see, but basically you're gonna have an insert that goes right underneath um, your waterfall feature, okay? And then it'll be a little bit short, so you'll get decorative edges from both the insert and um, the edge of the pocket page itself. Okay, so I, like I said, I might make it a little bit smaller, but for a placeholder, it's eight and a quarter by 10 and a quarter. Okay, that's it for page three. When we get back together, we'll start decorating. Okay, sorry about that. I can't ever get it together. I'm so spread out. Anyway, this is the page that has the waterfall feature, and this is the up flap that's holding everything together. So I'm going to set these pieces aside, and we're gonna start with the back mat. And I'm gonna show you what I did to conserve paper. Since most of what's under here we're not gonna see, what I did is I cut two two and a half inch strips and then I taped them to a piece of paper in the middle, which is six inches. So this is six inches and these are two and a half and two and a half. Once I had taped everything together, I put it back in my trimmer and trimmed it down an eighth of an inch to make sure that I have a nice border when it lays in. But I didn't want to waste a full uh, eight by 10 sheet since a good part of it's just gonna be hidden behind um, <clears throat> this waterfall feature. And then I also didn't want to just do two and a half and two and a half because then when you try to do an insert, it gets stuck on the other piece of paper. So that's why I put it together and taped it on the back. And now we're going to slide it in, position it, then add glue on either side and it'll hold it in place. I'm not gonna actually put glue across the center. There we go. So I'm gonna peel back each side and put some glue on it and it'll be held in place like so. <clears throat> and I just use scotch tape, use, um, Thin tape, It does. Uh, I wouldn't recommend double-sided tape because I think it makes it too hard to slide it under. So I just use scotch tape to hold it together. And then um, the designer paper is gonna be on the same plane, so whatever we stick through the belly band should slide in easily. I'm going to turn it sideways so I can better see the edges. Looks good. I'm going to press this into place. Then I'm going to peel back the other side and get some glue on that. Okay. There we go. And then, like I said, we don't have to use a whole sheet and a whole eight by 10, or I'm sorry, nine by 11, not eight by 10, nine by 11 piece of uh, designer cardstock. And that matters because we are, do have an insert here. So I, I'd rather have, you know, designer paper to cover this. That's gonna slide in and out. <clears throat> okay, there we go. All right, so now I set all this aside. So this is the piece that's gonna go on the bottom. I'm going to use my contrast sheet here and lay this in. Okay. 
<clears throat> okay. Now for here, I'm going to use this pattern and I'm actually going to cascade it down and you'll see in just a minute what I mean. So I took one large piece of paper, trimmed off this piece and then an inch, 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 and um, we'll cover just the bottom inch of each one of the waterfall features. And then um, depending on how much paper I have left over, we'll come back and add designer paper. I've kind of got the eight by eights, just, I just intuitively know how much paper I have. This is a bigger size, so I'm, I'm kind of adding paper and then deciding how many more flaps I want to add because I, I'm not used to it. So I just don't have it in my head. Um, so I'm trying to be cautious and not run out of paper. So for this, like I said, mm, I don't like it. I'm going to move it over. It wasn't centered. <laughs> Can't have that, right? Um, better. That's better. All right. <clears throat> it was a little too far left. You can always take it off and straighten it, but you don't have a lot of time with uh, art glitter glue. Okay, there we go. So that's the first one. So the second one is going to have a one inch strip. And I'm gonna line them up here, yeah, so that it's a continuous pattern. <clears throat> so what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna put this flush with the edge of, I think the edge of the, I'm sorry, I'm having a hard time thinking and And sorting and that goes here then here and then here so I think I'm just because I want this to just look like one continuous pattern I'm trying to decide if I want to have a black line in between and I wasn't planning that what I was planning to do is this so that there's no black line um, except for the top one and I think that's what I'm going to do, okay? Which means I'm going to install this piece flush with the edge, like so, okay? Instead of having a sixteenth of an inch border around it, which is what I usually do. Next, this is her little tail here. This should be. Oops. I went too far over. There we go. Nice. 
for. And then this is just going to go on the bottom. And this is um, not a, is it? Yeah, this is the belly band, so it's not a flap itself. And this one will have a black border on the bottom, and that's because it's a hinge, and I just wanna make sure that it can move freely. Okay, so isn't that pretty? We have this continuous pattern, and then this is the rest of it. It's gonna go right here, and of course there's gonna be another black line because it's a hinge. Now, if I had planned it right, I probably would not have had that black line here, just at, around the edges of the whole thing and nothing across the center. And of course, I'd have to have a black edge here because it's a hinge. So, I'm still happy with the way it looks. And this happens to be three inches. So all in all, it's 12 inches. So this is five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, three inches here. So it's one, it's seven inches wide and it's uh, 12 inches long and just cut into segments. So that's what you need to start with if you want to do a continuous pattern. Okay, and then you're going to need about a two inch strip to go on the bottom. And I think I need to trim this to fit. It's close, but not quite. Yeah, it's a little bit crooked, so I'm going to trim a little off one edge. Oops, it's upside down. So let's try that again. Well, it actually fits better this way, but it's still, I need to trim a little off the edge. <clears throat> now when I say a little, I'm, I'm thinking like a sixteenth of an inch. <clears throat> In fact, I'm going to go ahead and mark it because it's so slight. I don't want to over trim it. Not my preferred pencil. Okay, get some ink. What do you guys think? Pretty fun for a waterfall. That's it's a little different, right? Not your usual waterfall. <clears throat> okay, so there we go. All right, so that's all the A sides of the waterfall. Well, and this is, of course, the B side. That's fun. So we'll have to come back and fill this in, but I'm not going to do that until I finish designing uh, the last couple pages and then see what scraps I have left or how much paper I have left. I could be doing some color blocking in side and then of course we still have this insert that we need to cover. Okay, there we go. So we'll do something fun on either side here too. So that is page three for now. When I come back, we'll have, um, I'll have the B sides and the um, insert mapped out. Be back soon. Hey guys, Daphne, we're going to finish up page three, which um, we just have the insert uh, left. Well, that's the main part that's got to be done. So I trimmed out these two pieces, um, which are going to go on the outside edges, and then the blue is going to be the center. <clears throat>
then we just need to trim this down to fit uh, just a little bit. <coughs> Okay, looks good. Actually, it's a little too tall. A little bit off the height too. Okay, yeah. Okay, so let's pull in page three. So this is going to go right behind it. There we go. Like so. Okay, I'll be back in a minute.